Hey guys, this is Josh with Digital Tweaker. Today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, product called Snap Remote. And uh, let's get into a little bit here. What it will let you do is take pictures remotely with your device, whether it is an iPhone, iPad, iPod, uh, Android phone or tablet. Um, and I'll show you that here in a minute. But let's just go into the actual device itself. Um, it's really small. Um, it has a built-in stand for mainly a phone, I would assume, not a tablet. I wouldn't put a tablet on it. But you do something like this. Um, actually, I'll do it like that. And so you can take pictures from the front or the rear. The uh, It's very small. It's got a little hole right here so you can put on the keychain or whatever. But this is very handy for taking self pictures or group pictures um, when you want everyone to be in the picture itself. So you know, instead of you know holding out your phone and taking a picture of yourself with your arm hanging out or whatever, um, this makes it a lot easier and more. Uh, this is it's just better overall to take your own self portrait scenes. You, know, so you can post on, post on Facebook and what have you. There's there's no syncing involved. You don't have to do anything to sync this to any of your devices. Um, you only the only thing you do have to do is download uh, an app called Snap Remote, which is their uh, proprietary app. So and, and that's it. Whether it's on iPhone, iPad, I, any iOS product or Android, and download it from the market or App Store, and that's it. There's no syncing involved. It just works. It when the app opens, it will find any remotes within range. Uh, I'll go ahead and open Snap Remote. And you see my camera here. Did notice it's a little bit slower on Android devices than it is uh, iOS devices. Another thing I'll show you too, real quick, is actually. I'm going to go ahead and open Snap Remote here. And. Um, I got something in the way. And I'll open Snap Remote on iPhone too. Um, anyways, it will actually take all three at the same time. Which I guess could be pretty handy um, depending on what your circumstance is, whether you want to have it maybe sitting around something to take a picture or or whatever, or maybe you have multiple friends photo or multiple friends phones you want to set up and take a picture for all of you to have. Um, which is pointless because you can send it to each other. But anyways, that's pretty much the gist of it. And you can do this from, I think, up to 3 meters or roughly 10 feet away from the device. It is a very, very simple camera. I mean, the only things, the only options you have are to set the flash to auto, off, or on. You can also set up a timer too. Uh, it has two seconds and ten seconds, which you know, once you press the button, it'll be ten seconds. So from then, it'll take the photo. Uh, you can turn a grid off and on. I don't know if you can see that. And you can actually uh, change the camera from the app. You can change the front or rear camera with this little button up at the top left, and it just changed all three of them and you can change it back and of course the big button is the one to take the photo oh, I had the timer on that one so anyways, um, they all have the ability to share it directly from Facebook um, I don't have mine synced up with Facebook right now but you just tap it and share it straight to Facebook. Um, in iOS, you can view uh, your most recent uh, photo, but you can't scroll through any of the other ones. Um, you can go, it saves everything directly to your camera roll, so you, you can't do anything from within this app. You can't delete it, you can't do anything, you can only see the most recent one. If you want to do anything at all, you have to go into your stock photo uh, camera roll and go through that, that, that's the only downfall I see on, on that on the app itself um, and Android 
<clears throat> um, if you go to hit preview, it opens the stock application or any other your other applications. It doesn't have an actual viewer built in, so you can uh, view it, and that's it. But that's the only thing you can see it, and you can't go through it either as well. So. Um, the best thing to do if you want to view your photos after taking them with this application <clears throat> is to open up your um, gallery or whatever photo um, um, software app that your uh, phone or Android device has um, and it creates its own folder called Snap Remote and there's all the photos we just took and then you can obviously delete and everything from there so anyways, um, overall, I, you know, I think, I can't remember how much this is, it's maybe 20, 25, something like that. Um, but anyways, I think it's a, a good investment uh, for those that want to take, you know, selfies or group photos or whatever. Um, even for people that have other, um, maybe like a tripod or a table tripod and want to take macro shots or something. If you sit up on a tripod or anything, you want to sit still instead of having the risk of you know tapping it or having to set a timer you can use the remote and not have any shakiness of close-up photos and be more crisp so overall I think it's a good deal I mean, it's, you can put it in your pocket um, so hope this helps you guys out um, leave comments subscribe appreciate it